Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you one of my sniper targets I just took a shot at. And I want to stress this video is intended as a how I actually do recon on these sniper targets. It is definitely not intended as investment advice and is for educational purposes only. Now, with that being said, one of my most recent sniper targets will jump over here to the OKX exchange and look at Gala. That would be one of my most recent sniper targets that I did take a shot at. I did actually hit and it's paid off and I'm still holding pretty much a risk-free position. And if we scroll down, you'll be able to see where I actually took a shot at this target. And it was around $0.09. Cents. That, so that would have been back in this area here. And the price did eventually run up to just shy of $0.40. Cents. I took some profit at that point in time and made sure that I had a basically risk-free position as I sold just over $500. As you can see, my total initial investment was $500. So at that point, I was on a free roll. And then when the price did get above 40 cents, I took more profit and that was basically to ensure I actually had a profitable trade regardless of what happened from here on out. And so I went ahead and cashed out a little more. And now Gala just got listed on Coinbase. So it is pumping to all time new highs. And so I took a little more profit. So essentially I took that initial $500 and turned it into $1,500. And I still have over 2,000 Gala tokens left. And I will continue to take profit on the way up. Now that's enough jaw jacking. Today's sniper target is perhaps one of the next metaverse gems, and that is Blocktopia. And if you're not familiar with Blocktopia, well, you can just jump over to CoinGecko, do a search for Blocktopia or Block, B-L-O-K, which is their ticker symbol. And this is where I typically start doing my recon. So the first thing I'm interested in, obviously, is what is its current price. And right now it's trading at around 13 cents, and that's up 7.2% just today only. Pretty much all the metaverse tokens are pumping today, so that's not out of line. It's good to see they're participating in the pump. So now I have an idea of what its current price is. I do like to check out what the total supply of tokens is, and that's around 200 billion tokens. We don't currently know the circulating supply, and that's because it is a new token and it's being released in phases. So the circulating supply will eventually be updated, but right now it's so new we don't have those figures. If we continue to scroll down, I can take a look at the chart. I can click on max and you can actually see if we go all the way back to the beginning is October 2021 and this is almost the beginning of December 2021. So it's a very new project. We did start out at around a penny. It ran up to almost 18 cents, sold off. We had some pretty good accumulation and now it's slowly working its way up, which is exactly the pattern I'd like to see. I don't necessarily want to get in on this pump when it hits the exchanges. I rather see that sell off and then get in when it starts to roll back up. And so that's why I actually took my shot on this target today. Now, if we jump over to trading view, we can look at a little better history on this token, although it being a short history, we can see it's currently in a rising wedge, which basically means it's setting higher highs and higher lows as it progresses up through this wedge. And this is the type pattern I want to see. As the price continues to rise, I want to see higher highs and higher lows. And that is very bullish price action. Something else I do like to see is right through this area here, we see a period of accumulation or consolidation. And the key to that is we're not just going parabolic. It has taken a breather and then moved back up. And so for me, these are positive signs that give me confidence in pulling the trigger on this target. Now quickly, we'll just look at some Fibonacci levels. And right now I see pretty good support around the 50% level, which is right around 12 and a half cents, maybe 12 cents. We see some pretty good support. So I would not be surprised after this big push up to see this price move back down towards this 50% level and then perhaps start its next leg up. Now, what might we expect from a push up? Well, each one of these moves that we see here bouncing between the wedge is around 45 to 50%. So for example, this move up was 48%. 
This move was another 45%. It then sold off and bounced right back up another 45%. And then we'll take a look at this move here was as well just about 50%. So if we go 50% from the high of 14, almost 15 cents, we could be looking at 30 cents for the next move on this token. Now, I want to stress that my sniper targets are long shots. That means they're high risk and this price could just crash right back down to zero if this team does not follow through on their roadmap. But so far, it looks like they are actually moving forward at a pretty good click. So with that being said, if we jump back over here to CoinGecko, we can click on Blocktopia.com, which is their website, and that will bring you to their website. And you can see right now in this video, this is what their metaverse is going to look like. And it is basically a skyscraper. You can actually own a part of the skyscraper and earn rent off of it. You can do staking. There'll be NFTs. If we look at their light paper, we can actually see the tokenomics and find out what the initial circulating supply will be, which is the number we were missing in CoinGecko, and they're shooting for around 2 billion out of the 200 billion, and that will break down accordingly. So I'm not going to do a deep dive into their light paper. Again, you will need to do your own recon if you decide to pull the trigger on this target. And so if we scroll down a little further, there's a lot of intel available, but you can scroll down and find there are several opportunities for earning with the block token. Uh, Reblock, that's where I think you actually earn some rent on owning parts of the metaverse. You could then rent some of that property out for ads. Again, you'll need to do your own recon. As we continue down, though, you'll see the token utility, which it appears to have quite a bit of utility, which will add value to this token over time. And there's some intel on the team as well. So again, do your recon on these folks to see how legit they actually are. It seems to be pretty legit to me. Now, another thing I like to check out is social media. Is there any activity? And if you click on Twitter, you can see they actually have a pretty good following on Twitter already. They're at 262,000 followers. Now, for example, Gala Games, which was the sniper target I showed you earlier in the video, if we click on their Twitter page, they only have 132,000 followers and their price is steadily rising. They've been added to Coinbase. So with that being said, Blocktopia is definitely on the right track. Now, if we jump back over here to CoinGecko and scroll down and check what markets is this token actually available on, we can just click on markets and you can see you can buy the block token on Qcoin, Gate.io, OKX, but what you don't see is Binance or Coinbase. And for me, that can be actually a good sign as if I can get in before they get listed on Binance or Coinbase, I might be able to take advantage of that pump if or when they get added to either one of those two exchanges. Now, I have already pulled the trigger over on OKX. So if we jump over to the OKX exchange, you can see that block USDT is currently trading right at around that 13 cent level. And if we scroll down, you can see that I bought at 13409 and I bought just shy of 5,000 block or just over $600 worth of the token. And I'm actually willing to watch this price come back down into the 11 or perhaps 10 cent range and then take another shot and increase my holdings for this particular project. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. I really just wanted this to be a short video on a sniper target I've pulled the trigger on and how I would actually do my recon on these sniper targets. So if you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you want to see more videos like this, you might want to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss future videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop those down in the comment section down below. I will leave a link to Blocktopia and OKX in the description down below. So in closing, remember, never send your money in the battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.